In this video, we're going to be looking at uh, three problems where we're going to be using product rule, quotient rule, chain rule um, to then solve problems that involve gradients. Um, so, for example, find the gradient of a curve at a particular point, uh, determine the values of x for which a curve is decreasing, um, and then find the equation of a tangent to a curve. Okay, so stuff that you've seen uh, previously now being applied in a more complicated way, um, really because you're just using a more complicated way of differentiating. So let's have a look at number one. Find the gradient of the curve y equals x squared, 2x plus 1 to the 4, uh, when x equals 1. So first of all, we've got to find dy by dx. So here we're going to use the product rule. So we've got x squared times the derivative of 2x plus 1 to the 4. So the 4 comes down, the 2 comes out, and we take 1 from the power, plus the second times the derivative of the first, so 2x times 2x plus 1 to the 4. So we'll have 8x squared 2x plus 1 cubed plus 2x 2x plus 1 to the 4. So I want to evaluate that when x is 1. So substituting in x is 1, we're going to have 8 times 1 times uh, 3 cubed, so 27, plus 2 times 1 times uh, 2 plus 1 is 3, 3 to the 4 is 81. Okay, so I'm going to avoid doing that in my head. So 8 times 27 plus 2 lots of 81 gets me 378. So that's the gradient of the curve uh, when x equals 1. OK, so that's number 1. So number 2, find the values of x for which y equals a, x minus 3 cubed times x plus 4 squared is decreasing. So first of all, Differentiate, and um, we're going to use the product rule again with a bit of chain rule. Uh, so we're going to have x minus 3 cubed times the derivative of x plus 4 squared, so 2 lots of x plus 4 to the 1, plus the second times the derivative of the first, so 3 lots of x minus 3 squared times x plus 4 squared. OK, so tidied up, this is 2 lots of x minus 3 cubed x plus 4 plus 3 lots of x minus 3 squared, x plus 4 squared. So I want to find the values of x for which y is decreasing. So I want to know when dy by dx is less than 0. Now, it's not going to really help me putting this directly uh, less than 0 without thinking about factorising it first. So I'm going to factorise it first. I'm going to pull the x minus 3 squared out and an x plus 4, leaving me with 2 lots of x minus 3 plus uh, 3 lots of an x plus 4. OK, so let's simplify this. So we've got 2x plus 3x, so 5x. Then we've got minus 6 uh, plus 12, so plus 6. So decreasing, decreasing when dy by dx is negative. So I'm solving the inequality of that when it's negative. OK? So really what I want to do is I want to do a sketch of this curve. Okay, now let's use our curve sketching skills to do that. So we've got uh, it crossing through at minus 4, we've got it crossing through at 3 and minus 6 fifths. So minus 6 fifths and then we've got 3. Okay, now uh, because we've got this uh, repeated factor at x minus 3 squared, we've got to think that maybe there's something else going on at 3. Okay, Is it just brushing the curve there? 
Okay. Now this is a cortic. Now a cortic uh, with a positive x to the 4, positive coefficient, would start in the top left and end up in the top right. Okay. Positive power of x. So it must start by doing this. Okay. Now it's going to come around and go through minus 6 fifths. Now remember, it's got to end up in the top right. So it's going to have to have come back round and then brushed the x-axis at 3 in order to then travel up uh, upwards and end up in the top right. So this is what uh, the curve looks like. And so what I'm being asked is, where is this curve below the x-axis? And it's below it here. Okay, that's the only point where it's below. So the answer is that x would have to be between minus 4 and minus 6 fifths. Okay? So that's a little bit of using our graph sketching skills to solve a problem there. Okay? Right. Let's keep going. Uh, let's have a go at number three. Find the equation of the tangent to the curve, y equals x over x minus 8, when x equals 10, in the form of ax plus by equals c, where a, b, c are integers. OK, so I want to differentiate that. So I'm going to use the quotient rule. So we have the bottom times the derivative of the top, take away the top times the derivative of the bottom, over the bottom squared. OK. So we've got x minus 8, take away x. So that's just going to leave with minus 8 over x minus 8 squared. OK, so I need to find the gradient of the tangent. So I need to substitute in the x equals 10 into the first derivative to work out the gradient. So that would be minus 8 over 10 take away 8 squared. Now, 10 take away 8 is 2. 2 squared is 4. 8 divided by 4 is 2. So the gradient is minus 2. I also need to find the y value when x is 10. So that would mean substituting x is 10 into the y equals. So that will give me 10 over 10 take away 8. So that's 10 over 2, which is 5. So I now have all the information I need. That's the gradient of the tangent, remember? So the equation of the tangent is, now using y minus y1, so y minus 5 is equal to m x minus x1. OK? So multiply this through. Now, if I add the 2x onto the left-hand side, add the 5 onto the other side, we have it in the format that we wanted. 2x plus y equals 25. An equivalent answer would be minus 2x minus y equals minus 25. OK? Either or. Uh, but this one obviously looks nicer because you could just multiply both sides by minus 1. 